So I want to show you a side-by-side -side demonstration now of camera management for a period of the game whenever I open 16 pool. Let's just go to the, the period where the lings are on the map. This is the first check of your opponent's ability to deal with this. It's a very simple attack. Four lings, no speed. Not a Fatuel pool, it's just a 16 pool. And I only started doing this against Protoss today. So I would say that's even better evidence that it's pretty good. This opponent's build here, I don't know, but it's two zealots. Okay, the lings are in the base. This is two minutes 18. I'm gonna show you my perspective and I'm gonna show you the opponent's perspective. So here is my opponent's perspective here. Two eighteen. They're making stuff in the main. They're looking at the main. The links show up. They drag, swing, drag, drag. Send the adept up to the high ground. They dragged over here. Moving to the adept. They did send those two zealots on the map. Okay, 2 minutes 50. So 218 to 250, I will show you my camera management now. Queen comes out of the main, jump to the natural, double tap my lings. So we dodge those zealots. Going up to the high ground here, I am dragging over there. Made a spine. Double tap the lings. I'm trying to right click probes. Whichever ones are accessible. Okay, go back to the main. Creep. Inject. And because I feel confident with the situation, I just cancel the spine. And then I gather all my stuff. So one thing that this should be highlighting is the time that's spent getting from one place to the other by dragging the camera around. I'll show you the location for how to set up camera hotkeys, but it's a thing that a lot of players don't do. And if you play aggressive, and if you put units in different areas of your opponent's territory, Anyone who has worse mechanics with their camera control is going to respond to all those situations more slowly because their attentional management is not as crisp and efficient in the way that you move. So the trick that I was doing to jump immediately from the main to the natural is in the camera location area. So you go to options, hotkeys, global, camera, center on current selection. I have this set to alt. Keep this in mind. Create location one. This is where you save your camera locations. It's alt plus a key, which means if I select a hatchery and then I hold down alt and then I hit my camera key, then it's automatically right in the center of the screen. So that basically makes your mechanics a lot more consistent with where your town hall structure is relative to the town hall, or sorry, to the screen. So you always have your base in the dead center. That helps a whole bunch with things like jumping camera locations and injecting. You always have a hatchery in a consistent spot. So that saves you a whole bunch of time and it makes your vision in the game a lot more consistent. You're jumping from base to base. So for this one, I use the core, so it's control shift and a button. You could set this to whatever you like. Like these could be shift F1, shift F8. Some people use the F keys for the camera locations. I use the core. So my hand is in the center of the keyboard. I have my thumb. My left hand thumb is on control and shift. And then my pinky is on J. My index finger is on P. That's my left hand. Pinky on J. Index finger on P. My thumb can press both control and shift. So it's a bit of a weird hotkey layout. 
Uh, I've customized this heavily and I'm using a pretty old version of it because I feel like it does what I want it to. So why change? But now I will just show you setting up some camera hotkeys. I can just take over a game once I get some bases. I'll mess it up first because I think all my stuff is saved. If you use the F keys, Alt F4 is difficult to use. That's true, unless you have huge hands. True. Yep, Alt J centers the camera and then it makes it my base. I hold my mouse in my right hand. Doesn't everyone have their left hand on the keyboard? Or most people? Okay. I have a whole bunch of bases now. And I will show you camera management. Okay. It's gonna give a victory scream, but that's fine. So we have an army here, we can double tap this. If you double tap a key with a bunch of units in it, it just centers it on the greatest number present on a screen with that key. So say I have this stuff is here and I have this stuff here. Let's just test this. If I double tap the army key, yeah, it puts us in the place with the greatest number of that group, but they can be spread out. So I'm gonna show you setting up camera keys and how to manage that. So I have this is my first, I already set that one up, but I'm just gonna go through it. This is Alt plus a key. And then I get down here, Alt plus this key, Alt and key, Alt and key, Alt and key for each base. Three, four, five, six. So now I can go to whichever base that I want to. The way that camera hotkeys are stronger than using the base camera method, which just jumps from one base to the next, is the base camera method would center your screen on each of these macro hatches, which usually you don't want to do. Like you're not wanting to center your vision on these. So camera locations mean if there's a drop that's zooming along the side here, I can just jump to the main base and then start managing my units here and do whatever. What if there's something happening over here at my sixth base? My fifth base, excuse me, fifth base. Oh crap, what if there's an attack over here? Look at the minimap, my fourth base. What? I can just go right there. Like fourth base, fifth base, fourth base, fifth base. From one to the other. This gives a person so much speed. Let's contrast this with fourth base. Fifth base. It makes you want to vomit a little bit. Playing StarCraft like this. Oh no, there's this. Like you do have to move your camera sometimes, but a way that you can get a lot faster as a player is by streamlining your mechanics and cutting down on screen drag time. Let's say this is my secondary backstabbing group and this is my main group. I can access everything with no screen dragging at all. Oh, this base has too many workers. I can just go to the base that I know needs workers. Army, speedy group, the queen group. Let's go to the sixth base. Because I saved that at the start of the game. Yeah, public service announcement. Try to use your camera hotkeys. It's a little bit tedious to learn how to do this. And if you do want to start learning camera locations or you really want to work on your mechanics in general, I would advise, strongly advise, not laddering. What? Not laddering? Yeah, I know laddering is more fun and it's more exciting. But if you really want to add in something new to your mechanics, you can learn it way faster if you focus on just learning that thing and you make a drill for it. What I did was I just put on podcasts, like conversations that people had about whatever topics I was interested in, and I just injected my bases. That's all I did. I'm working on my camera keys and I'm just injecting bases.
And I did this for about a week, honestly, before I laddered again. You don't have to do it for that long, but... Yeah, try it out. Menu, options, hotkeys, global, camera, center on current selection, here, create locations, and then jump to locations. You could figure out what works for you for these. You might be wondering, well, what is... Doesn't alt work as the steal command? I use the steal command for everything. No. So that would be global control groups. Create control group, I don't even use this. Add to control group, I don't even use it. For Zerg, it's way better to just be able to split off units into a different group. And you would think about it like a, uh, a fighter cannot serve two generals at the same time. Like they'll have conflicting orders and they won't be able to make it over to any spot. Like if you want one left group and one right group, and then you have some units that are in the left group but they're hotkey with the right group, they're going to start trying to mirror the movements of this over here, which you don't want. That's going to cause them to do a lot of silly stuff. So I only use these. Create control group and take away units. I highly advise this, especially for Zerg, but it seems like a huge edge to me. They added this in Legacy of the Void specifically for Archon mode which didn't really take off. People don't play Archon mode that much. The queues are really long. It's just not as fun, I think, to play the game. You can't play the full 1v1 experience. You get to like wrestle with someone for it. Um, but it's a huge edge for mechanics. They didn't even have this option, but it eliminates a step. You don't have to create a group and then add a group as both steps or overwrite groups. You can just create and instantly overwrite and set a full group. So it saves people a bunch of button presses, basically to use these. Cool. There's some uh, tips about mechanics, setting camera locations, and then uh, centering your base, and then just thinking about screen dragging uh, versus jumping to locations and how much time you can save with your vision, which makes you overall a faster player.